her boyfriend was there and he's an atheist and so he began to just challenge me on my faith and he was just like basically like you believe there's a god and you know asking me all these questions like if there's a god then why is there um sin in the world if he came to save and to make us free then why is there so much like sick and broken and all that stuff and so i just tried to explain it to him but everything i said he had like a smart slick comeback at first it didn't bother me but then i started to just be like annoyed because it's kind of like why ask if you're not even gonna listen if you're just gonna give another slick smart response right i went home and i pondered on it and i realized that like god doesn't need you to, to to defend him like if you're a christian and you're listening to this or if you're a believer of the faith and you believe in christ that jesus died for you and you believe in god and you know christianity then god doesn't need you to defend him like we're not called to defend god and be his you know defense attorney we're called to share the gospel so as long as you just share your belief for those who want to accept it great and if they don't then stop talking to them this morning while i was getting ready for work the passage first timothy and second timothy i'll put this scripture up here where it reiterates that the people that you know have these type of questions and talks and stuff like that that you're not supposed to entertain those type of people because then it could either lead you astray um, and make you leave your faith or you're just gonna get nowhere because it's nonsense like just don't pay attention to those people so if you're out there and if you know someone who challenges your faith and ask you questions all that stuff like you can only give information you can't force anybody to receive it kind of like if you ask me for money and I give you five dollars twenty dollars a hundred dollars if you don't take the money then like I can't force it in your hand. You have to be willing to receive it. So if you're gonna ask me a question about my faith and I give you an answer, you know, you have to be able to receive it. And some of them are so like jaded in the mind that they can't receive it. And that's okay, you know, the faith is not for everybody. So as a Christian, you know, you're called to lead people to Christ, but you can't force anybody to Christ. It tells you that you should tell people the good news with gentleness and kindness and you know i wanted to share that with you guys if you are someone who was in a situation like i was that that is the solution is like you're not god's defense attorney all you can do is share you know the word of god and if they're willing to receive it great and if they don't you did your job you know god doesn't need you to prove that he exists he just needs you to tell people about him so take that as you will. Have an amazing, super starting day. I love you guys. Go be great. Go be awesome. Don't let one bad encounter or one person challenging you stop you from sharing your faith with other people because other people need saving and other people will be willing to receive what you have to say. So that is all for today. Love you guys. Bye.